Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Themis RTA that um, from Digi Flavor. I did get this at myvpro.com. I had to have it because, well, why not? Because everybody was talking about how good it is. I'm an RTA girl, so we had to go and get this. So I did get it and I got it in black to go on my diamonds. So we've got the black and white matchy matchy going on. So let's go ahead and go down and uh, take a look at okay, it. Okay, so here we are with the Themis Dual Coil version RTA. Um, they do have two versions, the dual coil and the mesh. I did purchase the dual coil. Um, once I saw this RTA out there, if anybody knows me, I'm an RTA fanatic. I love RTAs. I had to have it. So I did purchase this from myvpro.com. And this is the packaging that it comes in. And then on the back, it literally says leak proof top to bottom airflow system. Who doesn't like leak proof on an RTA? And then smooth airflow with outstanding flavor, compatible with both dual and single coil builds. Also options, I love options. Quick access top cap for convenience. So it's a top fill. So yeah, so let's go ahead and open up the packaging and take so, a look. Inside is going to be your RTA. We're going to put that aside for a second. It does come with an extra glass. So you do have the extra glass. It is the same size as the one that's on there. You've also got a 510 drip tip. So there is an adapter inside the packaging in the bottom. So if you want to change it to a 510 drip tip, you can. It does come already with the 810 goon style already installed on it. And then you open up the packaging. You do have your manual. This is gonna give you all the information, how to fill it, how to take it apart, how to clean it, things like that. And it does come in different languages. And then you've got on the bottom of that one, this right here is gonna be um, your um, warning card, um, your little Themis card. And this should be your warranty information, yeah. So this is all in a nice little envelope for you. And then also installed, you've got a whole bunch of O-rings, so you can change the color of the O-rings if you want. You've also got your tri-tool in there. You've also got an extra silicone for the top, so if it goes bad, you can actually go ahead and change it out. More O-rings, God, this has got a lot of O-rings in it. Um, you've got some extra grub screws in there, and then of course your 510 drip tip adapter that will fit the drip tip that they gave you. And then putting all that aside, of course I dropped the paperwork, we've got the star of the show. And this, I know it's in black, so it's a little bit hard to see, but it does say Themis right here. Themis, Themis, I call it Themis sometimes. <laughs> It says it right there. You've got two air flows, one here, one there. Whatever you do to one side, it will do to the other. And that's how that turns. It is a little stiff at first. And then you've got your removable 810 drip tip so you can customize just like Wendy likes to do. And then on the bottom, it does say Themis and it is designed by Digi Flavor. There's your um, protruding adjustable 510 pin. And then on the top, it's really, really easy to actually open. It's like a half a turn and it's open. You would put your liquid down one of these two slots, never down the middle, but down one of these two slots. And then there's your extra silicone ring. I just wanted to show you where that is, that they gave you the extra piece. That's for, um, I think the suction of it, I would think, because it like literally like locks right on. There you go. So it holds it really, really good. And then of course, this is a five mil capacity. It is 25 millimeters in diameter from the bottom, but once it gets up to here, the biggest um, um, diameter here is 27 millimeters. And then to open it up, all you do is you just take off your bottom, unscrew that. This works, oh, be careful with your O-rings, make sure they're all, all there. This works very similar to the Aromamizer Plus in the sense that this piece comes out and then there is actually grooves for you to fit it in there, which I'm gonna show you. So this is your postless deck. You have your, there we go. Yeah, no, it's, it's just the markings on it. You've got your positive and negative. There's your airflow on both sides. There are your flathead screws. I don't know if you can see that, there you go. And then you've got another O-ring here and then your bottom, that's how that looks. Again, the grooves are right here. You see the grooves right there? And then there's some right there. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And then there's grooves there and there are grooves there. That's exactly where you're gonna actually be putting that in. That's the inside. Those are your air flows. This is where the air is actually gonna travel. It's gonna travel up through this and then it's gonna hit your airflow here down to the coil and then back up through the middle. So yeah, so that's how that works. Um, we're actually gonna be building on this and for this because it's black and because, well, why not? I'm actually gonna put it on here to build on. This is my Diamond Mod by iJoy. Let's put that in there. Oh, sorry, I've been sick lately, so. Oh, all right, we're gonna put that on there so we can build on it. Isn't that a beautiful deck? These are your wicking channels. And I'm actually gonna be wicking it is the same exact way as I do my Aroma Miser Plus. I never have any leaking. Even though my Aroma Miser Plus is bottom airflow, it's one of my favorite um, devices. And it wicks beautifully. It's actually got your juice channels down here in your airflow, you can see. So like right on the bottom, that's actually, your juice is gonna be in here and it's actually gonna be wetting from over there. So yeah, it's it's, it's, I know it's gonna be great. I had to get it because, well, shoot, I had to have it. And of course, this does come apart further. All you need to do is you take off this top here and then you take it apart and you remove your glass and you can put on the other glass. I think there's a couple videos that'll show you how to fully take it apart. So I'm not gonna go that into detail, especially since, well, I bought this for myself. So I really wanna use it. So let's go. And this is more like a first impressions um, than a review. It's actually a first impression review. I'm gonna tell you everything there is to know about it. I'm gonna help you build on it. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel about it because I have been very excited for this particular device. So let me go ahead and loosen up those screws. Let me get that tri tool. I know I have another one out here. Or a smaller screwdriver. There we go, smaller screwdriver. Will you stop moving? Oh my God. It keeps pulling towards the magnet. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this one. Since I found where that little hole is. There we go, unscrew that one. And you can see it opening from right there. I'm gonna unscrew this one. There we go. That one's open there. Unscrew this one. See it opening there. And then unscrew this one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna measure like the lengths of the legs. I'm so used to postless decks because my Aroma Miser Plus is my most favorite atomizer and it is postless. And it's my it was my first postless, actual postless um, device or atomizer and now it's like the only thing I love is postless. So yeah, let's go ahead and measure it. So we know that it's gonna be, I'm gonna say, let's guesstimate. Oh, and I am using the Coil Clout Fuse Claptons. These are absolutely my favorite. If you notice when I pulled them out, I have a few. I do order them by like the dozen <laughs> as I love them so much and they ohm out around a 0.16 or 0.18. Um, for the set and yeah, so that's the information on those and I will leave coil clout information down below for you if you're interested, but those are basically like the only coils that I use. I love, love, love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip them here. If I need to make them shorter, I can. So I'm gonna try one and then I'll try the other. There we go. I'm just gonna lay it in here, see what the length is for me. And it's actually a little bit taller than I want. So I'm gonna take off just a little bit more and then I'll clip the other one. It's a little bit taller. Again, I'm very used to postless decks and RTAs because I've been using the same one for a year and I was looking forward to this one. Even though it's a smaller juice capacity, I, I'm really, really loving the look of it. Um, so I had to get it, why not? Wendy likes new. Cut that one. I'm just measuring them to make them even. And this is how I do it. I always pre-cut mine um, and then just make it even. And it just makes it so much easier to get them in. So there we go. And I don't like them on my jig. I like it on my screwdriver. So let's put it on here. And go ahead and install this one. Let's see there. 
Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five. Just make sure that that's off when I do the install until I'm ready to fire them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. Seems about right to me. If anything, I can always pull them up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, am I in focus? Now I am. Go ahead and screw these down. If I can find a little line. There you go. So I'm not a fan of flat heads. Um, I think I've told you guys before, but if I haven't, now you know. So I have that down. I'm gonna pull it up once I get the other one in. As soon as I find it, there we go. Now let's go ahead and drop that one in. It's basically like a drop in your coil kind of addy. I kind of like that. I'll put that there and drop that in and screw that one down. And screw this one down. There we go. Make sure that's tight. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and straighten out my coils. So I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull them up a little bit there to the middle and up there to the middle. That's exactly the way I like them. Yes. So this one's actually a little bit uneven. Hold on. If, it, if you know me, you know my OCD. They have to be exact. If they're not, it will bother me. Don't ask me why. But there we go. Those look perfect to me. So let's go ahead and start firing them and getting them to heat evenly so we can wick this baby up. And I'm gonna just turn that down. This is, again, my diamond mod from iJoy, and I actually love this mod. So get my ceramic tweezers out, and let's go ahead and start firing them up. Start pinching. Pinching, pinching, there we go. There we go, pinch and pull. And make sure they're all nice and tight. It's always like good to check that sometimes when you're heating them, since I can find that little freaking line in there. There we go, tight, tight. Make sure this one's tight. And tight. Okay, so. Oh God, I'm so excited for this RTA. You have no idea. I'm just gonna bring that in just a little bit more. I'll turn this up. There we go. That should heat a little bit faster. I know you guys don't have all day, right? Just a little bit of strumming. Sounds louder than it is, but I'm really not strumming that hard, trust me. I just wanna get all those hot spots out and make sure that they're firing evenly before we start wicking them. There we go, come on, almost there. This one's almost done, turn it around. already turning blue. I love the color. The coloring on these coils is just amazing. Get all those hot spots out. This is the part that takes the longest is just getting, you know, the hot spots and getting them to fire evenly. So you do want to have patience whenever you have an RDA and RTA or anything like that. God, I love the colors that these coils make. Almost She's perfectly done. glowing now. No hot spots. So now we can go ahead and get our cotton and get ready to whip so this. for today's cotton, I'm going to be using my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. So I did go ahead and cut off a piece. So I'm just going to go ahead and just rip it in half. And then just twist this piece here. 
go. Maybe a little tiny bit more. Okay, so let's just go ahead and twist this piece up. We're just twisting that piece right there and then put it right through the coil. Pull it out the other side. There we go. And I always twist it when I'm putting it in. You want it tight, but not too tight. You want it just snug. And then I'll get my other piece and twist it up and then put this one in and pull it through also. Making sure it's in the lens. Okay, there we go. So again, tight, but not too snug. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and fluff them out. Cause that's how I do everything that I have. And there we go. I'm gonna trim some off. So I know I want it down to about right there. I can always make it shorter, but I can't make it longer. So I go for the long first. And then I'm gonna see how it fits. Thin this out just a little bit more. Again, I'm doing it just like my Aromamizer Plus because I know how it feeds um, because I've been using that one nonstop religiously for over a year now. So I like to thin those out because I want to make sure that the juice can get up to the, co um, to the cotton and to the coils. I just fluff that out. And then I'm going to put it in there. Yeah, to me, it's still too thick. I can usually like just estimate it by the thickness that it feels once I'm putting it in. There's my scissors. There we go. Get my cotton off my tweezers. And I'll put that one in there. There we go, that's much better. That one in there. I don't want it too thick. I'll do the same thing to this side. I'm just gonna go ahead and thin it out. And thin it out here. And then I'll trim it. I have cotton everywhere. Okay, go ahead and trim that one. And put that one in. And put this one in. There we go. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin either. Actually, I'm going to cut this one just a hair shorter. Like I said, it takes trial and error a lot of times, but this is pretty much the same as my Aromamizer Plus. I can tell by the bottom of it and the way that it's made, and it has got great machining. I love, love, love this, and I don't have a black one, so hey. Okay, so there we go there, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and prime up the coils like I usually do, which is to make sure that the cotton is getting saturated from within the coil. I'm sure that's all. I hate stragglies, sorry. I'm like a fanatic when it comes to stragglies. Go. No stragglies. Make sure everything's in there. And then for the juice that I'm going to use today for this, I'm actually gonna be using my Mint To Be. This is an absolute amazing spearmint. It's spearmint, no mint, just spearmint. So this is like one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite flavors ever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drip it on the coils and then pulse, and you'll see that it'll actually saturate inside the coils. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> there we go, a little bit more. Again, I like to see the juice coming out from underneath the coils, and then I just wet it a little bit here, and a little here. Okay, and we're ready. Yeah, I had to go choke offline. Ugh. I hate being sick. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, so we're gonna take this piece here and take it off and we're gonna stick it in the base. Do this, unscrew that. Again, we need to check for the grooves and the grooves are on each side of the airflow. So I'm gonna check it here. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in until it goes in. Let's go there. Oh, wait, where's the grooves? Yep, I got the grooves there. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in the grooves. Stick that in there. And there we go. I wanna make sure they're in there. There we go, it just sat in there. 
And then we take the base. Again, it reminds me just of the Aromamizer Plus, exactly like it. You put that on, you put the base on the bottom part and you're done. Screw that on all the way. Open up the top and fill it. I know that you're not supposed to have to, but I always close Whenever I am filling an RTA. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some juice in here. And again, this is a five mil capacity. Oops, a little bit too full there. And then put this in there. It's hard to see because it's black. And put this top cap right on. And that's on, yep. And there we go, we've got it all set up. So let's go ahead, put it on top of my diamond. And we are out of here to start vaping. And it looks good on the diamond. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here top. we are back on top with the Themis RTA on top of my iJoy diamond mod. And um, the coils did come out to a 0.16 ohm, which it does say between 0.16 and 0.18. So it's absolutely perfect. Um, thank you so much, Coil Clout. And yeah, so let's go ahead and have vape. I know exactly what this meant to be tastes like, and it tastes absolutely heavenly on here. Delicious, just as good as my Aroma Miser Plus, and that's like my go-to. The test is flavor and clouds for me, and it's giving me both. Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk about pros and cons. Pros, love the flavor. Love, love, love the flavor. I didn't know if I would like it in black, but I do like it in black. I just don't know what other mods I would put this on, but I do like it in black. Um, I like the fact that it's a 25 millimeter Addy. I like bigger Addies. If you didn't notice, my Aromamizer Plus is 30 millimeters. But yeah, I like that. I like how it bulges out. You don't necessarily need one of the bubble tanks, but it does bulge out. Um, I like the top airflow. It's giving me good flavor. It's not leaking like at all. You can't leak it, so that's awesome. I love the fact that it comes with both the 810 drip tip as well as the 510. For those of you that do like the 510 drip tips, I think that that option is great. It's super easy to build on. You saw, literally pre-cut your coils, drop them in, cut them longer than shorter. So you don't want them too short. I would rather you go a little bit longer and then cut them a little bit shorter like I did rather than just cut them and go. And then if they are too short, just lift them up a little bit just in case that does happen to you. The wicking, I did it exactly like I do my Aroma Miser Plus every single time, and there is absolutely no dry hits. Flavor is amazing, it's wicking great. Um, let's go ahead and chain vape. No dry hits, uh, the flavor just gets better and better and better. So cons, the only con I have to this, to be honest with you, is going to be that, what was the con that I had? There was one con I had. The con I had for this, oh, the e-liquid capacity, it's only five mil e-liquid capacity. I really wish there was an extension or like a bubble glass or something to make it a little bit more. Five mil will do me. Um, it's not four, it's not three, it's not two, so that's great. But um, it's the closest thing that I have to what I usually like to vape, so I think that that's great. I think that aesthetically, it's pleasing to the eye. It is absolutely beautiful. I like the whole little chamber thing in the middle. Um, you can see the bubbles that it's wicking. I don't know if you can see it because it's black. You know, so it's actually wicking just beautifully. Um, I just, I think this, this is like probably going to be my second favorite. I'm not sure if it outdid the Kylan. My two favorites are my Aroma Miser Plus and the Kylan RTA, or not the Kylan, the Kenzie RTA. And honestly, this is right up there with it. So 
it's pretty much for 2018 this is my favorite rta i will definitely tell you for 2018 for new rtas that came out this one is definitely my favorite so far so let's see what else is coming up um in the future i don't know but for now this is perfect perfect setup perfect perfect everything i really love this so yeah i did get this at myvpro.com they have it for 29.99 they come in stainless steel and black those are the only two colors that i know of right now another thing is it doesn't get hot even chain vaping it i love that i love that about this um i almost forgot to mention that um let me see what else it's basically like my aromamizer i love that you know you you can literally change out your coils and keep your juice in there just like any of the other ones you just dump it upside down you unscrew it and the juice stays in the bottom because you're taking out the deck so i i that's a definite pro for me i love changing my coils and re-wicking and not having to dump my juice so that's like a massive massive pro for me so yeah so if you're interested in an rta that's 25 millimeters holds tw uh, five milliliters of e-liquid has top airflow so you have no leaking um yeah so i would definitely suggest this this is definitely a big suggestion for me if i find it anywhere else i will leave those links below um usually i check brad's vapor to see if he has it i haven't checked there yet but if he does there is a coupon code wendy vapes 10 for anything off of brad's site except for pre-orders so i'll leave his link down below anyways for you but yeah um if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you have any questions or comments about this or anything else please leave them down below i, I do answer each and every one of my comments and yeah, until the next one, I guess, uh, yeah, I'll see ya.